rhythm to bring you all the action. So the opening lineup for the Heat presented by State Farm. Chalmers and Wade are the one and the two. LeBron and Bosch are the three and the four. And it's Anthony in at the center position. And for the Thunder, Durant, Ibaka, and Perkins compose the front court. Westbrook and Cephalosha in the backcourt. Westbrook, no good. I think he caught a glimpse of the defender out of the corner of his eye because he just seemed to lose his focus there for a moment. Well, you know, the Thunder have one heck of a home court advantage here in Oklahoma City. I mean, they don't call it loud city for nothing. No reason to get fancy. Just like pound cake, a basic throwdown. <laughs> <laughs> no need for theatrics, right? That's right. Uh, that's right. No 360 necessary there. Nothing fancy. Now let's send it over to Doris Burke, who was able to talk with Scott Brooks. And guys, he didn't want to minimize the importance of defense, but he did say that a good performance offensively is the main priority. If they get that, he said, they'll be able to put up with any shortcomings defensively. Let's see how it plays out, Kevin. Thanks for filling us in there, Doris. Thank you so much. Getting their offense sorted out is the priority here, guys. And I agree. I mean, a good call, I think. Try to get into a rhythm early and get everybody involved, let everybody touch it, and go from there. Yes, exactly, Clark. You've got to establish a few different scoring options as soon as possible. Get everyone involved and, and, and find that pace, that groove you're looking for as a team. Here's Bosch. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Back to the Thunder last season, 30 and 11 on their home floor. But this crowd has been packing the building even when they had the fourth worst record in the NBA. Well, Oklahoma City is a, a one sport town, a one team town, Kevin. Uh, the only major sports team there, and the, the fans so passionate there, and they're very fortunate to have a talented young club to follow and to support. And uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how this team develops over the next few years. They've got a great home court advantage. Here's Ibaka. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. These guys know each other well, clearly, because that was a beautiful pass. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. You know, you go back to the finals, and I think Bosch certainly was a factor on the floor. He didn't have the best shooting percentage. A different look for Oklahoma City. Allison comes in for Serge Ibaka. And it's Harden in for Tabo Cephalosha. Well, going back to Bosch, guys, uh, in the finals, he was inconsistent with his shooting percentage, but he had stretches uh, where he was really good. And he, remember he hit that game-winning shot in game three. I thought he was overall uh, pretty solid for the Heat uh, last season and in the playoffs. Joel Anthony's checked in for Udonis Haslam. Kevin, a big part of Westbrook's development was his improved jump shot. I mean, he forced guards to come out and guard him on the perimeter. And with his speed, that's a tough cover. And Durant sends it back. And here are the Thunder now. Harden. And he misses the go-ahead basket. Oh, perfect opportunity to finish the break. And he blows it. Steve, you have to be able to finish off plays like that. It's a must. Clark, you brought up Westbrook. If he can extend his range even further this year to the three-point line, Steve, he could see a jump in production like, say, uh, Derrick Rose saw last year for Chicago. Well, if Russell Westbrook starts making three-pointers, forget it. I mean, there will be nothing you can do because now all of a sudden he's got the defense on a string. They have to react to him all the way out to the perimeter, and now he's just blowing by everybody for dunks. How about Kevin Durant for Oklahoma City? So low maintenance. Signed that long-term extension with the Thunder. Doesn't mind playing in a smaller market. Just wants to play basketball and win games. Steve, you mentioned Kevin Durant's extension with the Oklahoma City Thunder in a summer that saw all the fanfare around LeBron's decision. He's moved to Miami. Durant's new contract, absolutely a low-key affair. And that's his personality. The young fellas say, do you or be me. That's what you got to do. Uh, not a big showman. That's not his nature. Loves the game. Hangs out in the gym. Homebody. Works at it. Gets home. Gets off his feet. I mean, he's high performance, low maintenance. You love that. A lot of good qualities. Yep. Deflected. Wade picks him up. Wade with the defensive effort. Miami trailer. From the strike, they rule this one. Goaltender, count the shot. So many things that this guy can do with the ball. Tabo Cephalosha has checked in for the Thunder. Daquan Cook comes in for Kevin Durant. 
Well, the West has long been considered the stronger of the two conferences in the NBA, but Miami, with its revamped roster, really had uh, no problem beating Western Conference foes last year. He anticipated the kick out and came up with the steal. And the tuck by LeBron. Not stop, no way to stop that. I mean, there's nothing you can do when he's coming at him like that. Well, that's right, Clark. Uh, Steve, he is a dangerous, dangerous player. Yeah, especially when he gets to that launching pad right there in the lane. Man. Pretty one-handed finish. That was nice. What a steal. That's some excellent defense right there. Collison gets called for the reach. That's his first foul. Now here's LeBron. Five points in the game. Puts the lead pass in front of him. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. They get Russell Westbrook. What a shot. Gets it to go through the contact. Boy, I love that. That's a great shot. That's how you finish in the NBA. You're right, Steve. Going back to Miami in the West, 20 and 10 against that Western Conference. Uh, that was kind of a rarity. Yeah, Kevin, and if you compare their numbers against the West versus the East, the Heat had a much easier time putting up points against the Western Conference hmm. opponent. James with the charge. That'll be his second foul of the game. Nice job there. Sliding over and taking the contact. You know, a lot of times those kinds of plays change the momentum of the game. And even though they don't show up in the box score, they're significant plays. Here's Westbrook. Over Chalmers. They shoot again. Wade against Harden. From deep. The shot misses. Wade with the defensive effort. Down goes the slam. Now that's a special order right there. Not everybody can cap off a dunk like that. Yeah, very difficult maneuver, but a tremendous one if you can pull it off. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Collison, no good. Well, with good defense down low, that, that's a shot he's not going to convert very often. The free throw drops the jump. The Thunder making a switch here. Mario Chalmers. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Maynard. Cephalosia kicks to Perkins. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Chris Bosch takes the hit and still finds a way to get it to go. Excellent concentration right there, partner. He's got a free throw coming up, too. That's tipped. Here's Wade. The shot misses. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. 16. the second quarter beginning in just a moment. Here's Maynard. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Taking a look at the Thunder. And it's Wade slamming it down. Come on now, I didn't see you. Can you believe that finish? <laughs> Boy, a little bit of flair and flavor at the end of it. Oh, that'll be a fan favorite, yeah, all right. That was not your average typical dunk. Myers from 14, and that one's good. Durant. Durant's got eight points. The Heat leading by five. But you think about the great players who have played this game historically. Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. All of them had a go-to move at crunch time. You knew what they were going to do, and you knew they were going to be successful with it. LeBron has not found that go-to move yet. Shot clock at three. With one on the clock. And another basket for Miami. Probably time to bring an extra defender, change up the defense a little bit. Well, Steve, he's been so good. I think they got to take the ball out of his hands right now. Here's Durant. Nice D from Bosch. 
And back to what you were saying about LeBron, it might be why he's been a bit hesitant when the game is on the line. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, he doesn't have necessarily a go-to move. He's got a lot of weapons in his arsenal. But I think, again, this is overblown. The guy makes plays for himself and his teammates late in games, and he's going to be a better closer than people give him credit for. Right. He showed it in the playoffs. No question you know? about it. No question about it. Pulls up on the wing. Durant with another miss. LeBron outside. Defended by Durant. LeBron against Perkins. Good! LeBron James. And it's an 11-point heat lead. Well, Miami last season, despite their struggles as they tried to find that rhythm with their new big three, they ended up finishing second in the NBA in team field goal percentage. Shooting-wise, he's having a tough quarter. I mean, he just seems to have gone cold. Can't find the basket. Myers from 14. They get it back. Tipped away. Out of bounds. Remains and they'll keep possession. A different look for Oklahoma City. Tabo Shafalosha has checked in for Harden. And Russell Westbrook has subbed in for Eric Maynard. Here's Bosch. 11-point game. Stolen by Durant. I'm not sure what they're thinking offensively. Poor decision on that pass. And that steal led to that easy transition basket. You know, Steve, they, they've got those guys reeling a little bit right now. Steve, get back to the heat. You look at who is taking their shots, and it isn't surprising to see the shooting percentage. Mark, I, I'm sure for you, too, so high. Well, I mean, you look at LeBron, Wade, and Bosh. All were right around 50% from the floor, and accounted for... 67 percent of the team's field goal tries so you know it's hard to blame them for taking that higher percentage of the shots when they were making so many of them westbrook working against chalmers now durant eight points for him misses the shot a humongous lead for him here i mean they've really done a good job of controlling the flow of the game yeah, and I think it's the rebounding they have to thank for that, Clark, because it's really set the tone in this contest. Quick shot. Again, Durant missing. Boy, it's been a bad quarter for him shooting the ball. The game is not coming. Oh! Oh! There isn't anybody in the building that didn't appreciate that throwdown. Well, Steve, that's as fancy a finish as you could possibly get. A serious degree of difficulty on that one. Kevin Durant was a great player almost immediately in the NBA, but I thought he really came into his own during the World Championships in Turkey in 2010. He dominated those games and, and really became a force on, the, on a world stage. LeBron, no luck. And the defense got away with a major lapse there. Three-pointer. That doesn't go either for Durant. You know, talk about Durant Clark in the international game with his height and range. The, the perfect zone buster. Custom made for it, boy. Yeah. I tell you, great out shooting, a prerequisite, mandatory prerequisite in the international game. And he was light out. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Hi, Kevin. Well, one of the things that was key to the Miami Heat's success was Coach Eric Spolster showing his level-headedness throughout the turbulent season last season. His calm demeanor helped him what was a season under the microscope. Dwayne Wade said of Spo, one thing I always said about Coach Spo is he's even. He's even keel. He never gets too high or too low. And that is what helps his team win games, guys. Thank you, Doris. A lot of coaches wouldn't have been able to deal with the season the Heat had last year. Yeah, a lot of ups and downs. And even in that finals matchup against Dallas, Spolstra kept his cool. Anthony, the pass to LeBron. Serge Ibaka with the rebound. And here we go with Russell Westbrook. He's got seven. And it's going to be two free throws. True contact on the shot. Yeah, don't give up anything for free. I like that. Send him to the line. Yeah, don't. they don't want to sit back and watch you lay it in. I mean, make them earn it. Make them earn it. Don't give up anything easy. He hits the second from the line. Nine seconds left in the first half of basketball. Durant is tagged with the reach. That'll be his second foul of the game. Kevin Durant. 
His second person. Stolen by Dallison. Boy, that was a great steal. Prevented what may have been an easy hoop. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Thunder. So far, his shot selection has been questionable. A lot of tough, contested shot. If I'm coaching, I might sit him down for a minute. And stolen by Chalmers. No good. And we finish one half of basketball. What a great game. 23. 37. And as we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close, guys. And we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third quarter started. On the floor for Miami, Wade and LeBron are the wingmen. Joel Anthony is out there with Chris Bosh, and it's Chalmers in at the one. Great communication on the alley-oop. Six points for Wade. Aggressive transition game leads to the easy hoop. Yeah, I'd love to see these guys just trampolining to the hoop. Everybody's running. Perkins is whistled for reaching in. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. Team's first. Here's Chalmers. Back to Anthony. They're moving it around. Here's LeBron. And Durant sends it back. Thunder trailing by 16. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Durant's got 13 points. Look, I mean, the Thunder two seasons ago managed to give the Lakers a run for their money in the first round. But in this last season's playoffs, they put the league on notice that their sights were and are much higher. LeBron dishes to Anthony. That's good. He has six. It's a tough pass to make there, guys. Right into the heart of the defense. Knocked away. Goes for the alley-oop. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. Yes, sir. With that one, boy, they got the crowd buzzing there. A pretty perfect play all around. What a fantastic dunk to finish it off, too. Here's Durant. Shot is no good. Some solid defense from Bosch. And I think Clark around the league, the Thunder have been held up as the example of how you build a contender from the ground up. They certainly, Steve, lived up to that phrase, I thought, this past season. Yeah, they really seem to have all the pieces that a team needs to contend for a championship. A star player in Kevin Durant, great point guard, and Russell Westbrook. They've got complementary pieces as well. And now it's just a matter of letting this team grow and move forward together. Till I die, look at 